standing in front of the one of the last Sears in the United States. Company was formed. <clears throat> the company was formed in 1892, and in its heyday, it had 3,500 stores across the country. And now Sears is down to less than 10. And this one here is really walking distance to my office in downtown Coral Gables. Um, so we're gonna go inside, check it out, uh, just to put a few things in perspective. Uh, it, like I said, it was one of the largest stores in the world with 3,500 stores, dominated retail up until just about the time Amazon took off and the internet, they missed the boat on e-commerce. They were the inventors of mail order catalogs back at the end of the uh, 19th, early 20th century. We were able to buy everything from hardware, lawn equipment, houses, guns, appliances, tools, the height of fashion, everything Sears had. And now we're gonna go inside and see really how empty and how run down this store is here, the Sears in Miami Coral Gables, one of the last remaining Sears. And we're gonna go inside because that ominous note was thunderstorms. I haven't been in this store, I haven't been in this store in more than 20 years, maybe 30. It is a empty ghost town. We have some women's fashion. And um, today is the last day of summer vacation. So this place should be packed with back to school shoppers. One lady on her phone. You have some summer sales going on. I haven't seen a worker yet. There's a couple of people at the checkout. Jewelry counter. There's nobody behind here. Escalators broken. So let's leave the ladies fashion and we'll come to it looks like appliances and sears one point owned kenmore and they had to sell that they were running up debt now they have some lg machines here some appliances so far we haven't seen an employee yet I don't know what the prices of these are at Best Buy or wherever. Refrigerators. Again, you, you. This store is so empty. We can go bowling right down this alleyway here. Imagine doing that, going bowling in a department store. Let's see what they have in the camping. I mean, camping used to be one of their big things. I remember my grandfather in the late 60s, early 70s, we'd pick up new camping gear every season if we needed it at, at Sears. He was a big into Sears. Got some really ancient looking home equipment. You have your camping gear. Craftsman tools. Craftsman tools used to be also really big. In fact, Sears used to own Craftsman tools. They also had to sell it. And Craftsman tools used to be made in the United States. Still has the lifetime warranty. One salesperson here. Basic Craftsman stuff. All their shit's made in China now. 
used to be made in the United States. Got some furniture here. I mean, how, why would anybody buy this? You can go to Ikea or Macy's or West Elm. West Elm, really, or Crate and Barrel. Get more modern stuff. This looks like stuff like your grandmother would have. <clears throat> Let's go upstairs. We know the down escalator doesn't work, so we'll have to walk down the steps. I've never been on an escalator that had instructions that had to use it in English and Spanish. So, I guess this is the, the beach area with, Jesus, these are really cheap looking knockoff Adirondack chairs. 36 bucks, you can get better and cheaper at Home Depot. Yeah, I don't see this as the height of uh, fashion anymore. My God, this is empty. Children's are down there, empty. Just more empty clothing. At least it's they've spread out the racks where I guess you can find what you're looking for if you're looking for any of this crap. Baby sections here. I don't think they've changed these fashions since the 70s. My kids are all in their 30s. So I have no idea what cribs go for, but this, this looks like shit that um, I probably grew up in when I was a baby in the early 60s. I, for 269 bucks for this, I think you would get a better deal at the Salvation Army. Here's your baby section, moms and moms-to-be. You know, when you have this as your offerings, you wonder why the store is empty. There is nothing, nothing here anybody really needs. So we gotta find where the steps are going down. Cause it's only going up and the down one's busted. I don't really feel like going into an elevator here, so we'll have to find the steps. And there's nobody, nobody, nobody here. Toys, get a better selection. Uh, cheaper prices at Walgreens or CVS for that matter. I mean, obviously Amazon is better prices and selection on everything that's in here. They have restrooms, almost afraid to go in there and look. Yeah, I, I wouldn't trust this in a swimming pool, nonetheless, snorkeling. No idea where the stairs are. Oh, there's a customer. And there's another customer. I hope this is not like the Hotel California where you can check in, but you can, anytime you want, but you can never check out. Yes. Yeah, I'm looking for the, um, looking for the stairs going down. The stairs are over there where the uh, yellow... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, thank you. You're recording? No. Can I help you with anything? Nope. Thank you.
well that's it kind of sort of got busted filming but what are they gonna do throw me out of an empty store so we're gonna exit not through the gift shop because they don't have any gifts here I'm just gonna exit this Sears and uh, maybe the next time I'll come here it'll be closed because certainly I can't see them making any money here and just in time it's raining so that was it America that's the modern state the current state of Sears that used to be a retail behemoth in the United States and now is reduced to having half stock shelves of shit nobody wants at prices that are way more expensive than you can find online or any other place so maybe i'll do another sears later but this is one of 11 sears remaining in the united states there's four in california maybe five there's three here in florida and then there's a couple more scattered across the united states uh eventually i can't imagine this one staying in business too long it's a huge huge piece of real estate here at the end of, at the edge of downtown coral gables and um it's just worth a lot of money for development for condos or a high class mall or something something of that ilk but certainly not for the shit that we saw inside this store